So I want to show you a video on what I call hard water versus soft water. We have a bowl of hard and a bowl of soft. Uh, so what I'm going to do is get this bar of soap, and drop it into the water and try and create a lava. As you can see, I'm not really having much luck with this. So that must be the hard water. So all it's doing is creating that murky water, which uh, is the soap re reacting with the uh, magnesium and the calcium, the minerals that makes our water hard, and creating that, well, scummy water. So I'll take the soap over to the soft water. As you can see, already bubbles are forming, and certainly no cloudiness in the water. Just agitate. Lovely bubbles and pretty clear water. So back over to the hard. Nothing. No bubbles. No lava. We call that squeaky clean. Back over to the soft. And the same thing, nice and smooth. So just by getting some of these bubbles and dropping them in the hard water, just kills them. They don't stand a chance. Meanwhile, you can still see the soap at the bottom of this water, and it's still pretty clear. I'm going to take as much as I like, create as many bubbles as I want. But with the hard water, nothing. All it's doing is creating a nasty soap scum around the side of the bowl. So what I'll do now is empty the soft water down the sink. And give it a quick rinse. As you can see, Nice, clean, clear bowl. Tip the hard water away down the sink. And rinse it. It's there. All that soap scum clinging to the side of your bath, shower screens, and more importantly, your skin. So eczema sufferers and sensitive skin people find that this is the problem. All of this gets trapped in the pores of your skin and dries your skin out. If I just take some here and rub that into my hand, well, it just disappears. Your skin just soaks it all up. And that's what causes all our dry skin. So if you want nice clean baths, soaking in nice soft clean water, you know that you need to fit a water softener. There's no other way to do it.